time for another fishing tip as Ray and Mandy show you how to use slip bobbers. Today we're going to talk a little bit about slip bobber fishing, which is a very effective way for fishing panfish and for fishing walleyes. In order to have a slip bobber, you have to have a bobber stop. And there are a variety of different kinds. What I have here today is just a little string. And I already have my jig on here, so I'm not going to be able to show you. But I would typically take this and put it on my string and slide it up and put it to about where I want it to put it. And then you can see I've got two ends to pull. I pull the two ends and voila, you end up with a knot like this on your line. And that's where your bobber is going to stop. Then you need to string the bobber on your string. And this bobber has holes in both ends and it's got a little top on it so that it will not go beyond that. And I'm going to transfer over to this bobber right here. And now that bobber will not go beyond that depth. And I can move this up and down if I want to. I can pull that string tighter or loosen it up a little bit and pull it up and down a little bit tighter. So that's how it's a, the uh, application is put together. And then you can fish whatever you want to on the bottom. And Mandy's going to talk a little bit about how you use this. Absolutely. So Ray was saying, obviously, this is a multi-species rig, uh, commonly used with any kind of pan fishing, sunnies, crappies, but also for walleyes. There's a couple things to th keep in mind when you're setting those depths with these slip bobbers. Obviously, with walleye fishing, you're going to want to have it closer to the bottom. Feel free, I would say anywhere from 6 inches, 12 inches, maybe even 18 inches off the bottom. Pan fish, on the other hand, you can set further off the bottom. They actually will look up when they're foraging for food. So you feel free to set that a little bit higher in that water column um, and just adjust it to the depth that you're fishing. I'm Ray Gildow for Lakeland News and the Nisswa Guides League. And Mandy Yerk, Bass and Biologist. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.